riding that specialised uh, through the mud and up the hills and whatever. And uh, now you're going to be riding a specialised, not quite the same one. Um, so, uh, long distance uh, triathlon. Just tell us a little bit about what's attracted you here to Abu Dhabi to try something very, very different to what you've been doing for the last um, 10 years or so, really. Yeah, well, the first thing that really appealed to me was the UAE. I've never been to Abu um, Dhabi, I've never been to the UAE. And they invited both my wife and myself. Like, wow, that's really cool. The race is bringing me and my wife over here to do this race. And, uh, so that was a great thing. Um, part of this lifestyle is um, the cultures and the countries that you get to visit. Um, especially with Xterra, we race in Hawaii, in Japan, and Brazil, and South Africa. So that, that's what really cool to me. Um, but then the other thing that really appealed to me was the, the tourist gate bike. <laughs> But because the bike is so long and the run is so short, uh, me being a strong cyclist, and I'll never run a marathon, so um, that really appealed to me. And I thought I started training in a week before this, and if I can get enough long distance training in there, I can come in here and do something on the bike. I'm not sure what something that is, but uh, we, did some, we did some pretty serious training for this. Have you been able to look back at, at previous years or speak to some of the experienced athletes that have done this race for their insight into how the race tends to work uh, in terms of tactics and then to then take from that what you can apply given your strengths? Yeah, I definitely uh, spoke, spoke to a few guys. Um, Bryce Mazzinen was a specialised teammate and he's retired so yeah. he can give you all your secrets. He can give you the inside, the inside yeah. lines. And, uh, so I spoke to Erasmus about it and I also spoke to Nicola about it as well. So I try and learn as much as I can from the whole guys. Because I know if you ask Macca, he's going to give you an answer. I'm not sure if he should or shouldn't use it because he's such a gamesman. Yeah. Um, coming into this one thing is definitely about experience, and that's what I glaringly lack is the experience uh, of the pacing and the nutrition and how the race unfolds. I think physically, I can actually learn from that. In an ideal world, would you like to get away on your own, or do you see benefit in maybe you know, an alliance, if you like, with, with one or two of the, the strong bikers to maybe then get a gap on some of the, the swift runners um, behind? Because you know, that's certainly Frederick in years past has proven that that's been a, a great asset and, and enabled him to perform very well over three seasons. Yeah, for me to do well, I have to get away from the bike. I have to make a um, 85 kilos <laughs> and 20 k's is a long way off the track, yeah, so I want to get off the bike with a good lead um, in a perfect world uh, early on. Yeah. I can get away with a couple of other strong bikers and kind of rotate, work together or whatever, and then hopefully dump them in the end and I can actually get time. That's the uh, perfect so. and, and looking beyond this for the rest of 2013, um, do you foresee doing any more road triathlons or would that depend on this or is, is X there are still going to be your primary focus because that's ultimately yeah. that's the, that's the, the sport and the brand that which you are now really synonymous with around the world. Yeah, I'm definitely Xterra is my first priority. I love Xterra, um, but I am branching out to the road. Um, this will, the result this weekend will give us a very good indication as to what I'll do. Um, if I do all this weekend, I'll definitely come back next year and go forward. I think it's unrealistic for me to come here and try and win this race with the Phoenix Cup. Um, so this is going to be more of a learning curve. I'll give up there and give it a good whack. Next year we'll be able to, to assist on that. Also from this weekend's result, we'll consider maybe some 70.3s in the States and definitely do uh, significant distance and drafting races. Yeah. Um, we, we have got an Xterra race uh, back after a, a big abs absence back to the UK this year. Is there any, any chance that we might see you there either this year or if the race continues uh, 2014? I, I honestly haven't looked at the calendar. I've heard that there's a British race. Um, I raced in Wales, uh, Exeter Wales, a number of years ago with a, a bike course that's in the middle of the water. <laughs> um, I'd love to. It sounds like um, the UK is great mountain biking. Um, it's mud and rocks and roots and stuff that I really enjoy. Uh, but I haven't looked at the calendar for, for the UK one this year. I'll, I'll, um, I think once this race is over, we're going to plan this. Yeah. 
had some tough competition from a certain, uh, certain Mr. Gomez last year. How, how impressed were you with him being able to, to do what he did at the end of the season, going from the you know, draft legal, um, grand final winner, IV winner, and then on to Exterra, he, he showed some quite uh, amazing uh, versatility, didn't he? Yeah, you never know with, uh, when road traffic's coming to Exterra, you never know how good they can be. Uh, the first year of the Exterra 2001 Macro race, for Amy and Macca and myself, we were all refused at Exeter Worlds and uh, I won by 10 minutes. Macca lost half an hour on the bike and I think Paul Aitken finished the second. So, athletes that have more or less similar abilities on the road, when you take off road, it changes. So, when Robert Gomez and Ernest Sanders went into Exeter, I was more worried about him than Castellino uh, or Tim. I think I was the uh, equal physical ability because uh, I think Fabio's head is. He's very, very limited and uh, he's unflappable I think. And um, I heard he's done some mountain bike work before, but I have no idea how much he really, really was. Um, unfortunately, the course at World Championships in Maui is not a difficult course. Um, it's got a lot of climbing, but in, in 15 kilometers, the bike is 30 km. So in the first 15 km, it climbs 1,300 meters, which is an average of 10%. Um, so the course caters to a smaller athlete that has a big engine, like him. And there's, there's not a lot of rocks, there's not a lot of technical stuff. And, um, the, the, the technical stuff that there was, but it was good at the, he was smart, he didn't make risks, he didn't make mistakes. And uh, yeah, he was, he was unbeatable in that place, definitely. Uh, he brought, uh, brought a new level of racing to Exeter. And uh, on the same note, Richard Murray, who is the South African ITU kid who went to the Olympic Games. I raced him just four days, three days ago. And, uh, Extra South Africa, and um, he won there. And that was a uh, very technical course. So, Richard um, definitely is the real deal when it comes to, to mountain biking. And it was quite a, it was quite a surprise, yeah. even to himself. Yeah. So, I think uh, the level of racing is going to be a good